Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So this is a quick tip. I've done this before, but I want to show you because I know a lot of you have problems getting started in an art, you know, on an art journal page or what have you. So I thought this would be pretty cool to show you, um, you know, easy because I'm going for, um, if you have a stencil, you know, that's a, that's a main picture, right? And it could be an owl, which is what I did prior. This is a flower, uh, whatever you have. And you do a background. Let's say you do a cool mixed media background or just an acrylic background where you're doing colors. Um, and let me know once I'm done, let me know down below if you want me to do an art journal page showing you the full effect of this, or if this is good enough, maybe you can, um, you know, you look at this and say, oh, I know what I can do. Now I did the flower in black and I just stenciled it down. And then what you're going to do, pay attention to where your uh, stencil fits. Now, if you're like me and you have, uh, you know, fibro and RA and whatnot, and you're on a lot of medication and you're in the medication fog and you're in the fibro fog and everything's getting to you, mark it, take a pen or whatever and mark so you know you know where that part is so you can get that stencil back because let me tell you something on a bad day for me it could take me 20 minutes <laughs> to line this up no lie okay so then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take maybe i should do a brighter color than that i was going to do gray but i think that that might be too let's do a little Let's do magenta. I want something bright. You know what I mean? So you guys can see it. It's not necessarily going to be um, what you would do, but you know what I'm saying? Or you could practice. It doesn't matter. And I have a scruffy brush, which is um, a three quarter scruffy brush from the one stroke Donna Dewberry plaid. Um, this is so old and this thing keeps popping off. I have to glue it on, but I love it. I have two sizes of this, but you can get this in any brand and if you don't have this you can use a makeup maybe i'll use a makeup sponge maybe that's what i'll do just to show you um what did i do with my makeup sponges oh i'm in the middle of three million things and you know when i'm in the middle of three million things i lose everything all right so i just have a makeup sponge here that i've used a million times you can see i cut the edges off uh so if and, you know if it gets hard you know what I'm saying? Okay. So you lay this on how you originally did it. And then we're going to move it just a little bit, a little bit off. And it doesn't matter. Do whatever way you want. You want to just kind of move it up a bit. Okay. Just like that. You can see how you have that. Now let's go in a darker color. Okay. And then I'm going to just go around those edges. Like so. And you want to hit, you know, wherever you're, whatever, you know, I have some yellow underneath here, but whites, whatever, whatever is showing. And hold it. Now this is cut. This is a very cut stencil. So it just takes a minute. It makes a cool flapping noise. Oh, how cool. All right. I'm sorry. I got lost in my head for a minute. Okay. I think you get what I'm, you know, you're picking up what I'm putting down. Then when you move it, you get a cool shadow effect. Do you see? Now, think about the colors that you're going to use for this. Okay. So, and I, I never wipe off, but let me show you. If you turn it, if you have a piece of paper, you know, I always call it your, you know, your little scrappy paper. And you go and you kind of push around tap it around what you're going to get. And this is on a piece, you know, that maybe another piece of your art journal, which I've done um, just to take off some of that paint. You can see there's not too much left, but you get, 
you know what I mean? And then you'll start building up another page. But otherwise, I don't take that off. I just leave it there. But you can see how you get like this really cool shadow to it. It gives it dimension. And then you can go in and add highlights if you want with white or whatever. But like I said, you don't have to use black and pink. It could be whatever you want. It could be black and white. It could be, you know what I mean? Um, and it really gives you a cool effect. And you can see it's kind of like that way, like you're getting a shadow coming at it. And it's really, really cool. So think about, like I said, if you're doing an art journal page and you're kind of stuck on what you want to put on it. Now, listen, you can do this with an ATC card. You just want a smaller piece. And oh, I could go on for hours. I hate when I make my tips and then I get too, uh, oh, you know what? I'll do another video doing that. I don't want to keep you guys too long with my tip because I'll go on forever. So this is a really, really good tip. <laughs> and I will link at the end of this video, the other video I did doing this. So you can see both and really try it and really use it to your advantage. And let me tell you something, sit with a piece of paper. It could be printer paper or whatever. Sit with um, paint. If you have it, pick two colors, paint, uh, pick your watercolor markers, your Crayola crayons, your Crayola mark, whatever you got, all of it's going to work. Okay. And you're going to have a blast doing it and you're going to find different things that'll work in, you know, in your art. Um, I, I, I just think it's a good thing. I think, I think never feel like you're going to be doing something. You know, a lot of you write me and think, Oh, you know, it, I, I don't want to use my Crayola markers or my Crayola whatever paints, because I feel like it's, you know, it's, it's embarrassing for me, or it, it's like baby art or child art or whatever. And I've done a vlog on this before. Um, I'm sure that you guys have seen it's not baby art. It's not child art. It's not using childish things. It's called creating art. And that's what you're doing. And it doesn't matter. I don't care. I don't care. Some people get, get caught up on the fact, and I want to say this respectfully because I don't, this isn't to dog anybody because that's not what I mean. I think if you can afford, I've said this before, if you can afford golden and Liquitex and, you know, I mean, this is a um, system three, uh, whatever you can afford the more, uh, you know, expensive paint. I think that's fantastic. I think if you take a class and the person who's teaching says, you know, go buy the golden because that's what I'm using. And that's the only thing that works. I think you should find somebody else's class because I think it's okay that they use them. I think it's okay that they think it works perfection, but if they don't tell you, you know what, if you can't afford golden, go get folk art, go get ceram coat, go get, you know, the store brand or whatever that'll work as uh, you know, also if they don't give you those options, then you might want to find somebody else because it's not, you know what, it's not everybody's, comfort zone or everybody's financial situation where they can afford those. And I think if you can afford those, I think that's fantastic. Use them. They're fantastic, but not everybody can. So anyway, that's just my thing. And I'm not saying anybody does that or whatever, but if you, you know, I've taken some classes back in the day where, you know, they don't show you any mistakes. They do everything perfectly. And then it's like, you know, you know, it's edited, you know, and then you do it and yours turns out funky looking and then you feel like you you know that you're a loser and that you can't do it and that's not what art teaching art is about it's about showing you how to get a certain end result and it doesn't matter what kind of paint you use to get there or or things do you know what i'm saying never just create just create just create don't get hung up on that kind of stuff Ugh, i could go on for hours okay I love you guys very much. And as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Let me know down below if you want me to do this in an art journal page for you guys. And if you do this, let me know. I'd love for you to tag me on Facebook or anywhere else so I can see what you do. And any questions, like always, you can find me. All my info is down below. I love you guys so very much. Progress, not perfection. That's my gig. And you know what? Find people that you can learn from on YouTube, no matter if it's me or somebody else and stick with them and learn. And that's what this is all about. And have fun. If you're not having fun, you're not, you know, what's the point, right? I love you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.